We've heard about descendants of European Jewry returning to communities in Europe, largely abandoned by the Jews or wishing at least to reclaim their heritage and citizenship in order to get a European passport. And eligibility for European citizenship, this time particularly in Romania, is becoming of high interest in the past several years. Those who wish to take advantage will likely want some help in navigating the system, though. And here with more is Michael Decker of Cohen, Decker, Pex, and Brosh Law Offices. Michael, thanks so much for being with us. Now, who is qualified to obtain Romanian citizenship in this way? And are they considered returning citizens? Or is there some other status that they're given? Well, um, Romania um, has a very generous uh, policy uh, regarding uh, reclaiming uh, citizenship. Uh, and, and it is very, very relevant to descendants of, um, of Jews. And you can find them um, also in Israel and also all over uh, North American um, countries today. Basically, Romania at, uh, at one point had uh, uh, almost 750,000 Jews living in its borders. And... Um, and most of them uh, left Romania. Um, those also that weren't, unfortunately, um, uh, victims of uh, World War II. And, um, and, and uh, their descendants are eligible today um, with certain conditions to, re to reclaim, basically, uh, Romanian citizenship. So if, um, if you could sum it up, you know, what does the process mm -hmm. involve? How long does it take? So uh, ba basically, we're dealing with uh, three main sections uh, of the law that would apply on descendants of Romanian citizens. Um, basically, we have section 5, section 10, and section 11. Section 5 is rarely used because it's uh, dealing with a direct, uh, a direct descendant of a, an actual citizen. Uh, usually we deal with section 10 and 11. Section 10 uh, goes to the third generation and section 11 goes to the fourth generation. Section 10 basically deals with those that were born in the ter uh, territories of Romania as we know them today. Mm. And section 11 deals with the greater borders of Romania because Romania used to have bigger borders. And, um, and those uh, that were born in the greater borders uh, but then lost their citizenship because of, uh, of the change of borders, basically can bequeath the citizenship up until the fourth wow. generation. Uh, most, uh, section 10 and 11 are the sections that apply usually because um, whenever people left Romania, they almost automatically lost their citizenship. So usually we're dealing with, um, with people that lost their citizenship, but still up until the third and fourth generation, depending on section 10 or 11, uh, the descendants can reclaim Romanian citizenship. So what, what does one need to present to prove that they are qualified for citizenship? The main, uh, the main requirements uh, and the first and for initial requirement that you need to uh, present as a birth certificate. Um, uh, sometimes, unfortunately, it's not even possible to locate the birth certificate, especially if people were born in like rural areas that aren't even part of Romania anymore. But uh, even then, we have uh, located birth certificates in very extraordinary uh, situations. But, uh, but the first questions we would usually ask are, are exactly where was where your grandparents or great grandparents born, and if you have the birth certificate. If you do not have the birth certificate, before we can even take on a case, we need to first locate it, and uh, that can take uh, a couple months. But uh, but uh, thankfully, many times it is possible to locate locate a birth certificate. And once we locate the birth certificate, it's usually just red tape. Um, sometimes the cases are more complicated because, for example, when when many of these Romanian Jews made Aliyah, they uh, uh, received Hebrew names in Israel, and then the names aren't identical to the names on the Romanian documents, which uh, forces sure, us to I'm then sure go that to poses court. Some and, uh, yeah. Fun challenges. I'm sorry to cut you off. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I, I guess I yeah. have to ask. You know, do do new immigrants to Romania are, are they getting any certain benefits as a returning citizen? What are the advantages here? Well, the main, the main advantage is, is that ever since 2007, uh, Romania, uh, partially at least, is part of the EU. And, um, and once you're part of the EU, you're part of a whole continent that's uh, still today one of the 
a most privileged continents to live in and um, and here basically we're dealing with uh, pa uh, uh, the option of receiving citizenship without living uh, in Romania or in uh, the EU so basically it allows someone just to hold a, um, a Romanian passport which then gives them the the option to live anywhere in Europe to work anywhere in Europe to study uh, in Europe with reduced costs and even to enjoy sometimes uh, the different health benefits that European countries have to offer and and I'm sure also that many of uh, these descendants can also contribute to Europe and be of great benefit uh, to the EU itself so it's uh, not just yeah. a one-sided thing mutual benefit I love it all right well thank you so mm -hmm. much for for joining us and and breaking this down I know that there are a lot of people I'm sure who are very excited to jump in on this opportunity Michael Decker, thank you so much. With pleasure.